welcome to my channel my name is Nadira Yasmin if you're new here please subscribe if you've been here welcome back today guys we are eating on some black bean noodles and we have some king crab back here and we also have some cheese sauce look at that cheese sauce mmm I'm excited for this cheese sauce with my king crabs and look at these black bean noodles. Y'all see that? So hopefully we got a good thumbnail, guys. What is going on, guys? What is going on? This is two packs of black bean noodles. So we're gonna take some big bites to date, okay? Woo, I haven't had black bean noodles in a while. And that is so good, okay? King crabs. These ones are small. Ooh. I'm so mad they small. And they kind of stick in a little bit. Bring this up to y'all. Look at that. I put these in the oven so the shells like kind of crispy. Pop the shell in my eye. So what is going on guys? Tomorrow we leave and go to um, Ocean City, Maryland. These king crabs are acting up. I might have cooked them too long. I got some cheese or something on the side of my cup. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Yeah, I think I cooked my crabs too long. I'm mad. They like dried out. I'm so mad I did that. 
bomb. This is um Kobe Jack cheese and um mild cheddar mix. So bomb. I love Kobe Jack. Ain't nothing like it, okay? Well, I love um, pepper jack cheese as well. And then what other kind of cheese do I like? Come on out, Crab. Come on out. Stop acting crazy. Stop acting crazy. All right, come on, that was so good. So we're about to do that again. Let's do that again. <laughs> that cheese pool. Mm, 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 mm. Bomb. Look at that king crab. So I braided my daughter hair and then I now I gotta wash some clothes and finish packing. So my kids stuff packed. I just gotta pack my stuff. My fiance gotta pack his stuff. And then we'll be headed out. Oh, this hard, hard. Mm -mm. That's crazy. I done messed my crap. Look at this. I messed. <laughs> I dropped my crap leaves out. That's a hard. But all right, guys, I had to pause the video because I had to go get me something to drink. Your girl is thirsty.
The IC went fast. Woo! That is so good. So, so good. Oh, so I want to talk about something that I was watching two days ago. Two days ago. So basically, I was watching. Um, I forgot the name of it. But basically, it's about the exonerated five, the five kids back in the day. I think it was like 1986 or something like that. If I'm not mistaken, how they was accused of raping some lady and um, basically um, knocking her, her head. She passed out or whatever and accused of raping her. So with five kids, there was eight from 14 to 16. And one of the guys is... Um, some of you might know her, some of you don't, I don't know. But I Am Delicious from Flavor Flav, her ex-husband. They just got a divorce or about to get a divorce or whatever. But it's um, her husband was one of the kids. So, you know, my friend was telling me about it. And I was like, I'm going to check that out. So it's like, um, it was a series or whatever. So I was watching it. And it's a shame. Like, it's a shame how they really... It's a shame of what they did to them kids. Like, y'all really wanted somebody to go down for the, you know, for what happened to that lady. So, y'all just pinned this situation on them kids. Had them kids lying, making videos, conf lying confession videos. Like, comment below if y'all seen that. I was, like, so upset. I'm just thinking, like, oh, my God. Like, that could have been one of my, like, kids, you know. But even though I was born in 1987. But I'm saying, like... It's crazy, like, how people really want to get a conviction. So, they would really bring anybody down for them to get that conviction. Like, it's not that deep. Like, it's not that deep. Now, I don't know how the system works. If you don't get convictions, do you get booted out your spot? Of being a detective or whatever. I don't know how that, how that work or whatever. But, to have them kids lying... That's crazy. But so far, it's so good. Like, it's so good. It's so good. But we want um, the um, number three. Was one. Um, wait, what was it? It was one. They go by numbers. Okay, and we on number three. So I'm going to watch three tonight. I don't know if it's more after that. But I'll see. If it is, I'll probably watch three, four, five. Probably watch like four, four more tonight. Because I'm off tomorrow. Well, you know, I'm going to Ocean City, Maryland. So I can stay up however late I want. Plus, I'm not driving, okay? My fiance is driving, so <laughs> I'll be good. But yeah, like, check it out. Um, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put the, um, I'm going to put the name up. But I forgot the name. It's they something. It's so good. Like it's so good, and it's sad and too. You know, it's like once you be once you're labeled of something, it kind of stick with you. Like y'all went to jail for rape, so it's like everybody believing that y'all raped this girl. So it's like now when you come home, jobs really don't want to hire you. Um, people looking at you like you're a rapist. You gotta, you gotta um, sign up to be a sex offender. It's a lot. Like it's a lot. And it's like people don't respect you. It's like once something goes on your name, that's it. Like that's it. Like it's a shame. That's it. And imagine you really not doing it, and you coming home, 
and you get in an argument and somebody say, yeah, that's why you're a rapist. Like, how would you feel? Like, that would mentally mess you up to be called a rapist and you really didn't do it. But, I mean, you went down for it. You confessed for it. So, I want to see what's going to happen because I'm trying to figure out how did they get exonerated and did they do their time and get exonerated or did they get um, exonerated um, before they finish their time out? Like, I really want to see it. It's like the way they playing it, it's kind of confusing a little bit because if they got exonerated, then how are you still being called a rapist? But I guess because you went to jail for it, I don't know. But... I'm I'm just like excited. Like when my friend was telling me, she's like, You ain't see the, you ain't see the um document it's a documentary, whatever. So she was like, You ain't see that and I'm like, No, I never even heard about the situation. So yeah, like and I remember when I was um reading um I Am Delicious, I was reading her um post about her husband because they wound up, you know, separating and stuff like that and filing for divorce. And um she was basically saying his childhood trauma is still affecting him to this day. Now, yeah, sometimes people go through stuff and it really affects them, which I don't think is fair. I don't think it's, I don't feel like other people's problems should be brought on, brought on the next person because it could tear that person down. It's like, you'll feel like I didn't ask for this. Like when you came in, we was happy. You was telling me, you know, what you've been through, stuff like that. And you seem so happy. But then a person that's going through something, they tend to let their problems, like, bring their relationship down. Like, you ever hear, you ever heard of, um, you ever heard of, like, a husband and wife, and then they could lose a child, and one take it harder than the other, and then they wind up going their separate ways. Which I would think that would bring y'all closer because y'all going, y'all like... Y'all basically hurt over the same thing. But somehow I'm so right. They always divorce. Because one take it harder than the other. One can't. It's just too much. Like, I just feel like everybody take things differently. And she was basically saying, like, his childhood trauma is affecting him to this day. And that's not good. Like, he got to find a way to let that go. Because... You can't keep bringing that trauma on everybody you come in contact with or everybody you get in a relationship with because that's going to tear your relationship apart. It's like you've been through it. Yeah, you probably still hurt, but you 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 out. You good. Like, you good. You're going to find it. You know, you're going to find time to drift off and, you know, but I wouldn't even try to think about it. I would just try to live my life as much as I can, like, Give my kids the world. Give my wife the world. My husband the world. Whoever. Like, you know, it's like, it's crazy. Like, they were young. He was 16 when he got locked up. And I think they got five to ten years, I believe so. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I think they said five to ten years. So, I don't know if he did the whole five or the whole ten. I don't know how that, you know, really works or whatever. But, yeah, guys, like, y'all got to see it. Y'all got to see it. So, let me wrap up this video because I'm about to go and see if I'm finished watching it and I'll keep y'all updated. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.